Hang on! Hang on! Yeah! Rotherham are relegated. Huge three points. Huge three points. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. You join me for another home game. A game we've got to bounce back from immediately um, with our home form. It's our first game back home since Ian Foster's departure last week <laughs> at Bristol City, against Bristol City. But I'll tell you this now, it'll be different this time because I think we're gonna be fired up after that game on Friday night. I've just come back from mental win. Three points that we needed, especially, of course, and all that as well. And it relegated Rotherham to League One. But now we've got to make our stance in this league abundantly clear because we have another six-pointer, this time at Home Park. QPR come to Home Park tonight. The West London Club, who have completely sold out. They're taking about 1,700 down tonight. It's a massive game. Both of us are fighting to stay up. Obviously, the last time we played QPR was Loftus Road in December. We drew nil-nil with them. It was a very good point at the end, considering all the circumstances, because Dan Scar got himself sent off. But we dominated that game before he even got sent off. And then after that moment, then we were just holding on to a point. And that's exactly what we got. It was a brilliant point at Loftus Road back in December considering the circumstances so 
yeah, what are we going to do this time? Yeah, that was a nil-nil, that was, at Loftus Road. How will QPR cope this time? We're coming into this match on the back of our 11th win of the season, relegating Rotherham in the process on Friday night at the New York Stadium. QPR have been on incredible form lately. Superb form, actually, to put it in that way. But they're coming off into this game off the back of a home defeat at Loftus Road, losing 2-0 to relegation rivals of both of us, Sheffield Wednesday. Wednesday picking up a massive three points at Loftus Road back on Saturday to boost their survival hopes. And QPR have been dragged back into it after the um, other results all not going their way. And obviously after the brilliant run they're on, Saturday against Wednesday just showed that QPR are not out of it yet at all. But, this is a massive game either way. We need to fix our home form and QPR are one of the better sides away from home this season. They're mid-table for the away table, actually. Whereas we need to pick up our home form drastically after all our previous games at home from Leeds all the way to Bristol City just gone. And this will be our first home game without Ian Foster and with Nance and Juicenip. Hopefully we can perform and put out a brilliant result tonight. My score prediction tonight, I'm going to say 2-1 Argyle. I'm aware about QPR's away form and how much better it is than home. And I have a feeling that they could indeed bounce back tonight after that defeat to Sheffield Wednesday on Saturday. But it just showed that they did not perform that great either. If Sheffield Wednesday can beat QPR, so can we. And tonight... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, man. Tonight, we have the chance to prove that to everyone. Obviously... Obviously... QPR are ahead of us in the table right now. We are in 19th. They are in 16th. But it's a massive game, no matter what. We need to win. We need to win. That'll put us on 47 points. And then we'll be bearing down on 50 for our last four games of the season. Including a match against Leicester on Friday night coming up. So we've got two home games on the trot this week. This is part one, a Tuesday night. Part two is on a Friday night. What can we do? I'm bricking it. I think we'll get the job done. I think we'll concede like we normally do, unfortunately. But I think we can get the job done and come back from 1-0 behind to win 2-1. We'll see what happens. It's a massive game tonight at Home Park. Massive. This could decide, this could decide the fate of our season. It also could decide the fate of QPR's season. It's a massive game. It's a six-pointer. It's so crucial to both of our survival hopes. But I'm confident after what I saw on Friday against Rotherham. 2-1 I'm going for tonight. Come on, the Greens. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green Army! Ah. Oh. Big one, big one, big one. Three home games to go. Two away games to go. Two of those home games are this week. Let's make it matter. It's QPR at home tonight, guys. The R's, the West London Club, travel to Home Park on a Tuesday night, like when we went to Loftus Road midweek on a night as well. Come on, you Greens, let's do this tonight, come on! Right, I'm gonna go through my predicted line. I'm gonna go really quick because I can't lie, I have not got many changes from Rotherham at all. Stay, same team, except I want one change. Sorinola instead of Joe Edwards. Because I do wanna see Sorinola get some more game time. If not, maybe start Mikel Miller. I don't know, actually, actually I don't know. Miller's really under, I actually don't, that's a hard one. I mean, Mumba's got to start no matter what after Friday. I'm not changing that at all, but 
Oh god, thinking about it. Because Mumba can play on the right as well. You know what? I'll go for it. I'm oh, sorry, Zoranola, but I will go with Miller. I'll go with Miller and Mumba. And yeah, that's my lineup. Um Bring Sorinola on second half. Bring Bundu on second half. I'd like to see more of Callum Wright tonight, so I do want us to start him. QPR. Cher will be playing. Dykes will be playing. Willock will be playing. Obviously, Begovic in goal. He was, you know what he's like. I don't know. They're the ones to look out for for me. Maybe Clark Salter as well. Like I said, it's a massive game. It's, six, it's a six-pointer. It could genuinely decide both of our seasons. And I, I want, uh, the only way, it's a must win as well, the only way I'll take a point tonight is if we end up playing awfully and we sneak it at the end. I want three points tonight and a point on Friday. Hi, right, Rich. Long time no see. I'm joined by Richard and Liam. Guys, what we reckon tonight? I reckon 2 1 Argyle. I'm confident. 2 uh, 0. To our goal. Yeah, both two it. nils, both two nils. Who's scoring tonight? Wait a cut. Um, I'm, Wait a cut for me. I'm fancy Joey Oh, okay. Well, I haven't backed Joe Edwards to start tonight, so I hope I'm, I hope I'm wrong with that <laughs> with your prediction there. I've actually got Mumba because I, I I feel like if there's any time he can rescue his season now is after now. Friday night to yeah. now. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in, we're in. Look at the flags. Big game tonight, that's all I can say. Yeah. Devonport End looks on, as does Lindhurst, as does um, Mayflower, Barn Park. Sell out tonight, six points. Six point gamer, it's huge. It could genuinely decide our season tonight. We're three home games to go, two of them this week. Ah, oh, it's a big one against QPR. And all I will say is I'm glad we're not playing them at Loftus Road tonight. Thankfully, we've got a nil-nil there. Anyway, come on the greens, up the Argyle. As you can tell from the crowd noise, we have kicked off. Argyle QPR tonight. I've got I've just finished turnstiles. I've got my pasty. This is my good luck for tonight. Come on the greens. It's a massive game tonight. Six pointer. Oh, what can happen? Right, we're here. Go on, boys. Six minutes into the game. Nil nil. That's the amount QPR's brought tonight. Massive game, as we all know. Honestly. What a beautiful evening for it as well. Come on, Greens, we need to deliver tonight. GPR wearing blue shorts instead of white shorts tonight. Adam Randall, he's one of our own. Corner from Rands. Hit the oh. Wheel Barrow. Oh, go. Come on. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Hits it! Yeah. No, no, we were so close to 1 0. He gave it a go as well. This is what we need to keep doing. And we're 15 and a half minutes in. We forgot that. We forgot that. We forgot that you were here. Telling us to go down. You're not out of it yet. Silly QPR. Take him on, Joe. Go on, Cal! Shoot! Oh. QPR's best chance of the game so far. They're happy with them. Don't blame them being happy with them. <laughs> Playing around with it all the time again. Oh. That's side netting there from QPR. We've got to be careful. Go on! Oh. 
it wasn't powerful enough, and that's why Begovic got it so easily there. Go on, Bali! Hang on. It's Randall. Cow. We're keeping possession. Oh, I like that. We got a corner. Gone. Oh, oh they've. That's it. Keep it, Scar. What was that? We just listed that over. Rubbish. Ref, surely. Surely, ref. No way he's given a goal kick. He's given a goal kick. Brilliant. QPR free kick. Nil-nil, an absolute repeat of the Loftus Road game. Plymouth nil, QPR nil. I'll tell you what, that's a stunning view that is. That might actually be a new wallpaper. Anyway, nil-nil. Like I said, a repeat of the Loftus Road game I feel so far. Just without Dan Scar's red cards. Um, the only thing I know is that Norwich have beaten Sheffield Wednesday, which is great news for us. That's the only result I know so far. But I'll go on to that in the next part. So you joined the Why did he say it? See you in the second half. <laughs> anyway, how do you rate the game so far, boys? It feels an exact repeat right now, I can't lie. Without the red card. Best minute forward, as always. Um, uh, we haven't... We haven't... Um, we created chances, but not that much. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> his face says it all. Um, yeah. Come on, what are we going to do, Zach? Hopefully, he scores some. Hopefully, he scores some goals. Yeah, just carry on, carry on. Harden, uh, good score. Yeah. Um, Whitaker. Um, Player of the match so far. Come with the apple. Fair enough. I don't. Fair enough. So what about you, Mark? Well, we'll go to him now. Well, yeah. I'll go this angle so he doesn't get lighted by the screen. Yeah. The, the screen is very bright. Anyway, um, yeah, carry on. Yeah. But a 50 50 game, haven't been played much, but that referee's, no, been, that referee's been annoying. I don't, he's been annoying, but I don't think he's been that bad compared to other refs we've had this season. But I see your point. Yeah. Player of the match so far for us. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one because most of our players on the left hand side and right hand side have done well. Um, if I was going to go for two, it would be maybe more for to go with the chances that he's had, and he's had, and he's had a lot of involvement in the game. And then I'd probably go for Joe Edwards. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Joe Edwards has played well on that uh, high side. I, did, I didn't want him to start today, and there we are. That shows it. But what do you reckon then? Um, what do we do? What do we do second half after that? Yeah. Um. It's a very tight game. This just shows we are right next to each other. This just shows we are right next to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess there's that as well. It's a six pointer, nil nil. If we draw, we draw. I won't be that happy, I can't lie. But if results go our way, it's not the end of the world. What are the other results at the moment? Yeah, sorry for the technical difficulties there, everyone. Uh Bloody hell. Millwall are giving Leicester a hell of a game. 2-0 Southampton. Oh my god. Ryan Lowe, just go away. Alright, second half underway. Come on, Green. You! You, you, you! 
have that. How the England's back start to score tonight? Could you imagine? Hang on! We were close, Begovic takes it away. Well done, Scar! Please, Ryan! Forshaw and Sorinola on for Edwards and Halton. Already Forshaw's got a bit yeah. Willock's on, I'm bricking it. There's Elias Chair. how much of a game changer Willock is. Bundu's on, oh he is coming on. Wayno is coming on for Harvey. Bundu's on for Callum Roy. Gone! Oh no, nearly 1-0. One 1-1 one at Huddersfield. Clear it, well done. Sorinola. What was that? We've just given it straight to Elias' chair. And now Willock. No wonder they're getting confident. Get rid of it! Same old again, just like an exact repeat of Bristol City. We've just repeated how we competed against Bristol City. And it's 1 0 QPR.
Julio's done well to clear that for the time being. needed that. Mustafa Bundu, you beauty. 1-1, one, one. come on Green. <laughs> 15, <laughs> Mustafa Bundu! <laughs> oh God, quiet over there. Oh my God. So was young. I followed them. PAFC 13 for me. Hang on, but do looking good, looking good. Oh. Okay, so the main thing is we've now got one past an ex Stoke and Chelsea goalkeeper and has me a better bit. Keep going. Here we go. Five minutes. Five minutes. Oh God, it's now or never. Come on, Wolves. Oh. Keep going. That's a pen. But look, it's the refs. So I don't think it was going to be enough anyways. This is the last chance. The last chance. That's a, that's a free kick. That's a free kick. A big bunder. Anyway, it's the last chance. It is the last chance. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, we were close. Better bit 
there. I can't blame QPR being stuck with that. They, I think they would have taken a point before tonight. We were so close to winning that, but hey, it could be a lot worse. I'm not hugely happy with the draw, but considering all things considered, I thought we were going to lose then. It could have been a lot worse. Now we've got Leicester coming to us on Friday night. Bugger knows what's going to happen during that. Well, we will see. Wow. We're on 45 points. Five more points, I feel, will do enough for us. Five more points, I feel, we need now in four games left. We're on 45 points after tonight. Yeah. All right, all right, everyone, it's full time. I'll go on to my thoughts at the end, of course. I'll debrief what I think. At the end of that, then, it was um, full time. Plymouth won, QPR won. Mental game. We've drawn against them twice now this season. And, uh, well, um, of course, yeah, it actually, you know what? It actually reminded me of the Loftus Road game as well, the 0 0 when Scar got himself sent off. But this time, QPR took the lead, like I predicted. We wasted all our chances, but and I thought I I, I was lo I was losing it when we were one 0 down. But thankfully, Bundu's rescued us, and it's uh, we've got we've got a point. Uh, a few of my friends aren't happy, but to be honest, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. So we just got to take it and move on to Leicester on Friday night. Anyways, um, I'm joined by Eden, QPR fan here. What do you make of that then? So nice, because regardless, point each, but I was quite confident after we did take the lead. I thought, that's it, we've got the three points. Fair play to Cooper, he... Good few, good few saves there. We had a lot of chances to be oh, fair. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to say it because I'm biased, but I do think we were on top. No, fair enough, fair we enough, fair enough. Second half of the game, definitely more than the first half. First half, it was kind of yeah. level. I'd say it was quite level. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Kind of nice for everyone, really. Point each, point each. No, fair enough. Well, um, yeah, no, I, I, I thought we, we were going to save it when um, Cooper did that. But then, uh, yeah, defence got in the way and that was it. Um, four games to go. you got Hull away next. How are you feeling for the last four games now? Nervous. Make nervous. or break now, isn't it? And it's the same with us lot as well. Definitely. I think, I think we're all feeling a bit nervous. Yeah. Difficult now. Difficult to keep ourselves up there. Definitely. Yeah, no, fair enough. Uh, where do you see yourself finishing at the moment? Hopefully, say around 20th. I don't want to get into that oh, okay. drop zone. Be nice if we could even get to, like, you know, edging it. But could I don't still be 15th, even, yeah. Swansea's aren't, Swansea's aren't even there. out of it yet, so Absolutely. you never know. So, all that really, all that really. But, yeah, no, um, you happy with the point tonight then? Yeah, definitely. No, fair enough. No, that makes sense. Well, um, what was your score prediction before the game, by the way? We I went confident. We I went 2-1. Two two one. Yeah. You went 2-1 two two one one at QPR. QPR. Oh, two fair one. enough. I like the confidence. Yeah. Now, fair enough then. Well, cheers for coming on, Eden. No worries. And Thanks yeah. For me. No, no, honestly, no, no worries at all. Oh, Plymouth. What are we going to be like on May the 4th? For once, after a game, it's dry at Plymouth Ho. Imagine my shock. Right. Right. Let's go through it then. Let's debrief that then. What was a crucial six-pointer here at Home Park tonight? It ended full-time. Plymouth won, QPR won. A very, very, very tight game of football, I thought, first of all. I don't know how to feel about it. I feel very mixed about it. I feel meh. That's the right word for this match tonight, meh. Considering all circumstances that we were 1-0 down, I will take the points. However, it is still at the same time very frustrating because we knew tonight we had to win. So I feel very mixed about this. Uh, to put it bluntly, it could have been a lot worse. So the first half, we were playing really well, but... I feel like what stopped us during the night was none other than Asmir Begovic. Who, in my opinion, honestly, I'm going to say this now, Begovic was my man of the match tonight for the game. QPR's goalkeeper, absolutely phenomenal he was tonight. 
He didn't put a foot wrong apart from when we eventually scored. But yeah, he was my man of the match tonight, personally. Equally, Michael Cooper had an outstanding game tonight for us to dent QPR, apart from when they scored and took the lead. But I thought the first, first half was very even. No wonder it was nil-nil coming into half time, And it also shows how similar we both are in clubs right now of the level that we're both at. Second half was a bit more open. We had our fair share of chances. We wasted them all. QPR, exactly the same. They then found the breakthrough, thanks to Field. Calamitous defending from us yet again. And Cooper, 100% yet again, was the one that was keeping it in for us, trying to keep it out. And our defence was nowhere and QPR took the lead. Minutes later, we fought back an own goal by them and we drew 1-1. And that's what ended up the outcome being. Our start of the season home form has matched their current away form. And that's also why it ended 1-1 tonight. I feel like mostly, though, we had more of the, more of the um, shots getting closer to the goal. But again, Begovic was unreal tonight for Queen's Park Rangers. And I can't put... Anything past that one bit. No, he was superb. Um, neither side deserved to win, I can't lie. So I thought it was a very fair result. Also, I didn't think the referee had that bad of a game, I can't lie. So there were some decisions that were annoying and all that, but it was a fair, fair enough result, I thought, personally. Um, we didn't deserve to win. Neither did QPR. No wonder it ended 1-1. We're both fighting to stay up. And tonight was a reminder that we've both got more work to do if we want to stay in this league. It's not over yet for QPR. Either way, I think QPR fans will be buzzing at least with a point tonight at, from home park. So I guess there's that as well. Uh, but we move on to Friday now, really, if anything. Um, some changes I want to see on Friday. I mean, like... Uh, I can't lie. First of all, I want the I want the defence to change on Friday. I thought Ashley Phillips had a really poor game tonight. I can't lie. I am going to say that now. I thought he had a really poor game. I would personally have Scar, Pleggy, and one of Gibson or Galloway for Friday night. Any one of those four. I just I don't want a start in Phillips on Friday night. I think he's had a really disappointing game tonight. And I feel like Friday night against Leicester is going to be the right time for him to be on the bench and watch and observe. I didn't think he had a good game tonight. I did think some of the substitutes were poor as well um, that we brought on. I thought it sort of changed the game slightly. Like, I think Halton getting subbed off and Edwards getting subbed off was a bit of a blow. But what can you do? What can you do? Our, our attack, meanwhile, needs a lot of work to do because they all had a really poor game, I thought, tonight. So that needs working up. So... We just go from there, really. We just go from there. My man of the match for us tonight was Cooper. And for QPR, it was Begovic. And I feel like ever since the last few weeks now, Cooper... Ever since he's come back, Cooper has legit been our strongest player in the squad. And tonight, again, has just proved that, to be honest with you. So, there's that as well. So, we're going to have to move on, really, from this. I feel very mixed about this. I'm not angry with the result, but I'm also not happy either. So... That's how I feel about it. It's an annoying result, but it's also a result where I look at it going, it could have been worse, and considering that we were 1-0 down, I'll at least take a point because I would have been in a right stroppy mood had we lost tonight. I really would have. I really would have. And I will be honest, I'm going to say this now. Had we lost that tonight, I reckon our chances of survival will go down to the last day completely. As we didn't lose tonight... I think otherwise. For me now, it depends on next weekend at Stoke. Stoke and Millwall, our last two away days, two crucial away days coming up at the Bet365 and the Den. I'll tell you what, though. Don't rule us out surprising Leicester on Friday night. And this is because Leicester lost to Millwall tonight at the Den. If Millwall can beat Leicester tonight, and if Leicester's form is shaky right now, and if Sheffield Wednesday earlier in the season can at least get a one-all draw with them at Hillsborough, then I don't see why not that we can't. So we can go into Friday night and do everything we can to win. Yes, the odds will be completely against us, 
But let's just go for it, shall we? Because we are Plymouth Argyle Football Club at the end of the day. I'll be buzzing with a draw on Friday night, but there's no reason why we can't beat them. Leicester will be the favourites going into Friday night, and rightly so. But there's no reason why we can't beat them. Also, Home Park in my lifetime has been an absolute nightmare of a football ground for Leicester to go to over the years. So you never know. You really never know what Friday can do. Either we're going to turn up and either at least get a point or scrape a win or whatnot, or even outclass them if we perform so well, or Leicester's going to bounce back from Millwall and get three points themselves. We don't know. It could really go either way. And I know people's going to call me deluded because we're 20th in the league and they're top. But they just lost at the den tonight. It doesn't mean... It means that we can get do something against them on Friday nights. And... I can't lie, despite the draw tonight, I do think the football already is looking a lot better than it did under Ian Foster. We can do this on Friday night. We can genuinely do this. But after Leicester, is Stoke and Millwall. They're the ones to look out for for me. I reckon if we don't beat Stoke, if we lose to Stoke, I think it will go to the last game on whether we learn our fate on whether we stay up or not. However... I reckon now, if we draw or beat Stoke and then draw or win against Millwall afterwards, I think that should be enough to get it confirmed. We're on 45 points now after um, this, this result tonight. 20th in the league. Two points ahead of the relegation zone still. So no different to um, when we beat Rotherham last week. It all depends on Birmingham versus Cardiff. And we could really do with a favour from Cardiff. Honestly, and that will help us massively, but who knows? We'll see. It's at St Andrews. It's at Birmingham, so I don't know. But don't rule us out against Leicester. I'm serious, and I'm telling you this now. Do not rule us out against Enzo Maresca's side. Don't listen to the bookies. If you have faith, have faith. We can still do this. 45 points we're on at the moment. I feel like we need five more points. Again, 50 for me is the target. I think once we've reached 50, I think that should do it. But we'll see. It's a big one coming up. It is a massive one coming up on Friday night against the Foxes. So we will see what happens. It's on Sky Sports. Hopefully we can prove all the doubters wrong. But yeah, I feel very mixed about tonight. It's annoying, but it's also, it could be a lot worse. So we just have to move on from it really. So, yeah, a shame we didn't win. Disappointing we didn't win, but just glad we didn't lose at the same time. So, I guess it's that. Again, I feel very mixed about tonight's result. We just need to, we just need to, we just need to do what we can in our next match now. It's a big one against Leicester, but who knows? We'll see. Anyways, we'll see you all on Friday night for the big clash at Home Park against Leicester. Two home games to go and two away games to go. Four cup finals, Greens. Let's do this. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. And just for you, Plymouth Ho over there, Green Army! That really echoes. That really echoes. Anyways, see you all on Friday night. Have a good night. Cheerio. When they pull on the green, they're all Janners. Yeah.